Penetration resistance. Now, this is where you have like a penetrometer and you're pushing in the soil. This would be roughly the equivalent of pushing like a screwdriver in the soil. I don't like that that idea. I don't even like this particular instrument because it's so heavily biased by moisture in the soil. But this is where you're pushing an, an instrument, a rod, into the soil and you're measuring the resistance that it takes to push that into the soil. A measure of, of compaction. Penetration resistance five weeks after. Non-treated, the same. It's it's five hundred. It's a change. It's five hundred kil kilopascals. Uh, positive, meaning it's getting more firm. Liquid aeration is the exact same. Five hundred. Fertilizer is the exact same. Five hundred. All these are exactly the same. In other words, all the treatments except the treatments that included holotine cultivation had the same penetration resistance at five weeks as the non-treated check. The only thing that's softening or reducing the penetration resistance is the holotine cultivation times one and times two. That's it. We go to five, 10 weeks after and we go to 15 weeks after, it's the same thing. The soil surface, or I'm sorry, the penetration resistance is getting harder and harder. It's getting firmer and firmer with the non-treated check. The same thing's happening with liquid aeration, same thing's happening with fertilizer, same thing's happening across the board, except with holotine cultivation one, which is, getting, which is having less resistance to that rod, and holotine cultivation two, it's having even less resistance to the rod when you call holotine cultivation, cultivate it twice. So this is where the money's at, guys and gals. If you wanna make more money in a business, and this is indeed the problem, offer core aeration. If indeed that's the problem you have, you're gonna go out and start offering liquid aeration, or you're, God forbid you're buying liquid aeration from one of these con men. Man, you might wanna think again. You're not getting much out of that in terms of penetration resistance, surface firmness, color, not getting much at all especially compared to fertilizer. Fertilizer alone is giving you all the results that you in liquid aeration ever gives.